All right, guys, hello and welcome to this special video. We're joined here today by our good friend and trader, Charlie Burton. And in this video, we're gonna talk about the number one market in crypto, which many have been asking about, which is Ethereum. And we'll quickly mention Bitcoin if we, if we can as well in this video. All right, guys, join us. All right, guys, welcome back. Now, uh, Charlie, uh, by the way, welcome back. Hope you're well. Oh, thank um, you. I took your advice, Charlie. You said I was a bit overdressed last time. So I went a little bit uh, different this time with the. Well, you, you've gone kind of casual, jacket. and I, I've now got the shirt on. What's going on? <laughs> We've done a role reversal. <laughs> <laughs> I know. It's, well, I went for a different. My my friend calls this. My friend calls me this. Uh, my PUA outfit. I don't know why. I'm not. I'm not into PUA that kind of stuff at all. I, I, I don't know what stuff. that means. Uh, well, uh, I would I think PUA stands for pickup artist. Oh, I would just call it your Miami Vice outfit. That's what I would call it. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I'm a big fan of Don John. I used to watch Miami yeah. Vice. Don John, Don Johnson. Absolutely. It's great. It's, yeah, it's yeah. our era. <laughs> our era. Watching this won't know what we're talking about, probably. But uh, okay, let's get down to it. By the way, guys, before we dig into the charts, let me just mention Charlie has a fantastic offer, which we'll tell you more about at the end of the video. So make sure you check out this link for 30 days free access to Charlie's Gold Service. That's the link you see there, CharlieBurtonTrading.com forward slash LT gold. Charlie, listen, in the last video we made, um, there's, there's actually something I want to mention beforehand, which is I got I got some criticism in my last video because some people, and listen, the majority of our viewers, the majority of you who watch my videos, I know you're intelligent and sophisticated people, okay? So this is by no means about you. There were just a few people, I would say some very lazy nincompoops or imbeciles who basically criticized and said, Oh, your first 10 minutes of your video was just talking about your previous videos. You're recapping and reviewing what you said in the previous videos. And therefore, that was a waste of time. It was worthless and it was useless. First of all, I don't know who thinks like that, Charlie. Honestly, I don't. Because if you actually watch the first 10 minutes, you will notice that what we try to do, what I try to do, is first of all, explain what Charlie's, uh, what Charlie was thinking when he said that Bitcoin was going to drop to 20K. He was talking about psychology, herd mentality, the price structure, you know, previous lows, very important material from Charlie. And also the bits I mentioned was about Elliott wave theory, the process was going in my mind about support, support levels, the key levels. So listen, if those nincompoops and those lazy people out there, if they think that's useless and worthless, then listen, those people have no class, no, you know, no curiosity, no intelligence whatsoever. In my view, those are the kind of people who just sit, watch, you know, binge watch on Netflix every single day and don't want to learn a single thing. As I'm sure most of you know, again, I know the majority of our viewers are, are intelligent people. Uh, I know you appreciate that knowledge is power. Okay, now I get that out of the way. <laughs> uh, let's talk about Ethereum and Bitcoin. By the way, uh, Charlie, listen, in the previous video, you mentioned that you thought that Bitcoin uh, may potentially drop further lower in the next several weeks and months, perhaps. But I think, I think you might agree with me on this, perhaps, that maybe in the short term, maybe in the next several few weeks, maybe several days and weeks, I think there's a chance for some kind of reversion back to the mean because it's so depressed. I think it's been so oversold recently and a lot of negative sentiment, bearish sentiment, I think, has been going on. I think that there's a chance, maybe you agree with me on this, uh, of some kind of reversion or some kind of short-term bounce, some kind of reversion back to the mean. What do you think about that, Charlie? Oh, yeah, absolutely. You know, when we talk, we're, we're talking globally a lot. Of, uh, when I say globally, I mean a big picture. Uh, a lot yeah. of the time. So right now, if we look at what's just happened in recent days, is that we're seeing bond yeah. yields falling, and the stock markets are cheering that a little bit, you know, because then the stock markets are a very fickle beast, and the stock yeah. market's looking at falling bond yields and thinking, ah, so the Federal Reserve may not put interest rates up quite as much as we even thought just a few weeks ago, and. If the stock markets start going up, again, we have that risk on appetite and risk at, on will spill over into other asset classes. So, yeah, yeah I totally agree. Um, that in the shorter term, we it has had a you know pretty good run to the downside. And in the short term, yeah, absolutely. It could have a bit of a bounce. Yeah. Yeah, I agree with you. Let's have a look at the chart of Ethereum quickly and then we'll turn our attention to some other matters. Right. Here we go then. So, yeah, Ethereum, really, I mean, Ethereum put in a low Alessio back in sort of middle of June. And here we are in yeah. early -ish July. So a few weeks ago that Ethereum put in put in a, a its lowest point. And so it's failed to make a new low so far. It's attempted mm -hmm. here and it's a failed to make, make a new low so far. So. 
Um, you're absolutely right. As a, a as a reversion to the mean, as you've quite rightly yeah. said, you know, markets. I always say they breathe in and they breathe out. They don't just go in a single direction <laughs> the whole time. That's even right. if even if a market's going to go up to here, how it goes about doing it, it might be you know stair step yeah. approach or whatever. So yeah, at the moment, um, the the scope is there um, for. Uh, a retracement, whether it be to a moving average, or if I bring my pen up here, we've got these prior lows, oops, here in this sort of zone. Um, so there's scope there, and that would still be in the context of this overall downwards move on the on the daily charts at the moment. But certainly there's scope there for um, a a retracement. Yeah, absolutely. One interesting thing I found, Charlie. I wonder if you can maybe show this. Uh, maybe it's possible. Can you just zoom out a little bit so we can see the all-time high? How yeah. much zoom do you want? I mean, I... yeah, that's good. That's good. That's yep. good. And if you do, um, this is just something I noticed recently, which is that if you take the tool in the, it's called the Fibonacci extension tool, and if you just choose that from the left-hand side, it's the second option on the right, on the left. If you just click that option to bring down the tools, yeah. And if you just choose the second, yeah, the first, that one says trend-based bid extension. Oh, there, right. Second. Okay. If you just do a, a measure that first wave down, the first from the top, all-time high, to the low we made in January, February, I think it was, and then yep. project that from the high we made in April, I believe. Yep, yep, done. Okay, and if you just go into settings and extend that, okay, if you can just remove everything except the one, the one that says one, uh, the, the one extension, yeah, extend lines to the right. There's a box at the very top. There you go. Yeah, there, there was. Anyway, it's, what is interesting about it is that it it seems that Ethereum, yeah. So what we've done here is we've done the 100% projection, non-logarithmic. It's a linear linear uh, projection extension. Yeah. Ethereum came very close to this 100% measured move to a 100% symmetrical move down. Yeah. Perfect. Well done there. Thanks. Uh, thanks, Charlie. Yeah. Yeah. So I just find that interesting. Now, whether that means anything, we shall find out. But I just find it interesting that Ethereum made a 100% symmetrical linear uh, extension there on the chart. But anyway, we shall see what happens there. Just out of curiosity, going back to what you were saying, Charlie, if we did see some kind of retracement or reversion to the mean, what would be the level you'd be looking for on Ethereum as oh, a resistance that it may that it may potentially test? Um, well. Looking at the weekly charts to start off with, um, yeah. the, the typical sort of things that we would look at in technical analysis would be if you break a prior high or you break a prior low, then you look at that as a as a resistance level. So this level mm -hmm. here, we can see it was quite a significant low back there on the weekly chart. And we can see that yeah. it we can see that it tested a few times here, tested again here and then broke through. So that mm. zone there that I'm just penning on, which is, um, we'll, we'll look in a little bit more detail in a minute, but it's somewhere um, above 1600, 1700, it would mm. be a, you know, a good resistance zone looking at this as a, in, a technical, in a technical manner. So if we got a bit of a bounce coming, then that would be a level that I would be um, very much interested in, yes. Um, so that zone there. Um, I understand. Is it still your view, Charlie, that when we see a bounce, let's say we get a reversion to the mean or a bounce, is it still your view, your opinion, that we could get another drop down to retest the lows or even make a lower low? Because I think you said that with Bitcoin. Do you have a similar view with Ethereum? Presumably? Of course. Yeah, I can't see uh, Bitcoin. If Bitcoin was to come lower, then I can't see it coming lower without Ethereum as well. Mm -hmm. So if that is the case, if that was to happen in the coming months, then um, then I would expect Ethereum to come down with it uh, in a in a risk asset sell off. Yeah. So that's okay. what we've been seeing so far. They've been moving very very similarly, not uh, not completely, but they move very very similarly to each other. So um, uh, highly correlated markets, really. And so unless they disconnect, and it does happen at times. Um, yeah. That, that these markets will disconnect and those correlations will change. But for for a while now, those correlations have been quite positive. So, um, and what I mean by that, for anyone who's not sure, is that you're seeing very similar patterns um, and similar mm. movement overall, whether you're looking at a chart of Bitcoin or, or looking at a daily chart of Ethereum as well. One thing I want to say, uh, Charlie, is that uh, often when Ethereum 
leads or outperforms Bitcoin. Now we shall see if that happens. I think so far that has been the case. Usually when Ethereum leads and outperforms Bitcoin, that's a good sign, it's a positive sign for Bitcoin as well, as, as far as I've noticed in the past. And we shall see if that continues or whether that happens to be the case. Before we finish guys, please check out Charlie's brand new service, his gold membership and his gold service, which you can, by the way, access for free. So you get a free trial of Charlie's gold membership, gold service on his Charlie Burton trading on this website. You can see here on this link, go to this link now, charliebertontrading.com forward slash LT gold, and then apply this particular code LT 30 days. I'll give you a screenshot of what you can do this on the screenshot that you can see, you go to that checkout page and you apply the promo code LT 30 days and you get 30 days free access to Charlie's brand new uh, service. Just a brief synopsis uh, for everyone who may not be familiar with your service, uh, Charlie. Yeah, it's what do, a, what do it's you get? What do you get involved? It's a trading service. I've only actually been running uh, this for since uh, March of this year. I've been in the in this space, as you know, for a long time. But uh, yeah, they get full access. It's a proper trading community, and so I have a live online trading room whereby I'm leading the sessions five days a week, and we have specific sessions through the day, and people can log in anytime they want, and for any of the sessions or all the sessions and uh, listen to me as I'm going through analysis, taking trades, you name it. Um, I have a phone app, so if I take any trades and and uh, you get alerted to any trades or anything that I need to get out there, bear in mind I'm a fully regulated or authorized money manager here in the UK, they get full access as about 12 hours of material alone, just of all of the theory of all my strategies as well. These are strategies that I'm applying in the markets every week, so they're getting all of the theory and they're getting live daily you know, analysis and education um, because within trading, it's one of those sort of things that it's very much a lonely pe business and people are on their own. But this is for people who really want to indulge in their trading education, but also see yeah see me taking trades and how I go about managing all of these trades as well. They don't have yeah. to be there all of the time. All of the training sessions and tra room training sessions are recorded anyway so they can go in and pick up recordings and learn from what I've been doing when I've been doing my stuff during the day anyway um, so yeah there's a huge amount of content there and guys listen I've known Charlie uh, for almost uh, 14 years now and he's been a successful trader now for nearly over 24 years I think 20 20 years and uh, 24. listen uh, 24 yeah out of all the traders I know definitely Charlie is definitely one of the people out there I trust the most um, he's a fantastic guy uh, well, great person well. to hang my wife will disagree. Great person to have. <laughs> no, I mean, uh, but also, you know, the one person I can definitely say I trust when it comes to both chart analysis, but also in just in life in general. Um, so definitely, guys, the, all the risk right now is with Charlie because he's giving you 30 days free access to his trading room and his all of his gold gold service. So do check it out. Give it a test drive. All right, guys. And by the way, that offer is going to be there for a limited time period. So take advantage of it now while you can. Thanks very much, Charlie. Really appreciate it.